Hello and welcome to a new Volo. This will be a short weekend update just to tell you a bit about the project uh, I've been working on this week. So the story starts with uh, me purchasing uh, one of these um, Bluetooth receivers from eBay. The ones that uh, have a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and you connect them to an auxiliary port of a CD player or something like that and you can play music from your phone through uh, Bluetooth. So I ordered one of those from eBay but as usual it takes uh, six weeks for uh, an item like that to arrive from China to Romania. So I thought hey I have some Bluetooth modules already why not try and build something like that myself. So the first thing I did, I did was uh, to uh, search for an enclosure and I usually keep uh, various sizes of uh, enclosures and uh, it just so it happened I had this uh, very small uh, ABS plastic enclosure it's um, 80 by 40 by 20 millimeters in size and I thought this was perfect for the project and if any of you guys are interested in this enclosure here is the um, uh, code from DigiKey if you want to order something like this. It's made by Hammond and uh, well you can use this code to order it from DigiKey or any other uh, distributor where you can find it. Before um, continuing I think it's it's best if we do a teardown and uh, I show you uh, what lies inside. There's only two screws to remove. As you can see, I also use this uh, Dangerous Prototypes uh, sticker. I have these from, uh, like, I got them when I ordered PCBs from the Dirty PCBs uh, service. So I used the thin sheet of uh, foam just to protect the battery from the hard case. This uh, lithium battery has an interesting story. This was salvaged from an old uh, laptop battery. And I got two of these out of the laptop. They were both dead, but I managed to uh, put some current through them and they came back to life. And I've tested this one. It's got about 372 milliamps at 0.5 amps. That's probably half of its uh, rated capacity. But hey, it was good enough for, for this uh, hack together project. So let's take the battery off. I used a bit of double sided tape to keep the battery in place. And here is the homemade PCB that I did. You can quickly identify some of the uh, components. On the left side we have the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and a tactile switch. Next we have a TP4056 module complete with battery protection because this uh, battery does not have built-in protection. I had to use a charging module with uh, protection. And then uh, on this right side we have the Bluetooth module which in this case is the CSR8635. And uh, right here we see an op amp that does the uh, conversion from the differential output coming from the uh, Bluetooth module to a single ended output uh, line output that goes through the 3.5 millimeter jack. So I made uh, this uh, PCB using the photo etching method. The whole project took about a day to make but that was because I had a very slow process for etching the PCB. I had very old uh, chemicals for uh, developing the uh, exposed uh, substances to UV and that took a very long time to do. Of course I could have ordered this uh, PCB and had it made professionally in China for a very low cost but the whole point of the project was to make something with the parts that I had available and not wait for something to arrive from China. So there were a couple of hacks I needed to do on this um, uh, Bluetooth module. Uh, first off, there is no on-off switch because I didn't have an on-off switch small enough 
to fit inside this enclosure and still uh, leave enough room for the battery to get in. So the power is always connected to the Bluetooth module and then I'm using uh, something like a, a Bluetooth enable pin uh, which is connected to this tactile switch to actually enable the Bluetooth module. But um, there is a disadvantage to doing that because this module in standby takes about 500 microamperes um, so it will drain the battery if left in standby long enough which is not very great but uh, it was just a, a proof of concept not going to actually uh, use this if I were to use this I would uh, design it better for example I would either implement a uh, on-off toggle a soft switch or maybe uh, a hard switch but one of those smaller ones integrated on the uh, enclosure itself but um, so far I've tested the module and uh, it works uh, really nice it gives it gives um, really good sound there was one problem uh, during testing one of the channels was uh, performing bad and uh, it had a slightly uh, lower output than the other channel so I checked with the uh, oscilloscope I went on the signal path uh, at the um, I, so I went backwards I started from the output of the op-amp I noticed the signal was lower on one channel then I moved to the input the signal was still lower then I moved after the input filtering and the signal was still lower so I figured it must be from the Bluetooth module and it was actually actually a bad solder joint on the uh, uh, castellation vias on the Bluetooth module that was causing this uh, signal problem. So after I fix that, I get very nice and clear sound out of this. And uh, I think the power consumption is around 10 milliamps when the Bluetooth is connected and playing music. So uh, with a uh, at least a 300 milliamp power battery I should get over 30 hours of uh, playing music from this but I believe this battery will will give me more than 300 milliamp hours at this very slow discharge rate so it's it's a nice uh, hack together prototype a proof of concept and uh, if I were to build something like this again I would uh, order the PCBs from a service like uh, Seed Studio for example um, or IT studio because those are very 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 cheap uh, prototyping service or even dirty PCBs from dangerous prototypes and uh, I would build something uh, a bit more professionally one thing to consider when building something like this is you might want to choose a uh, fire retardant ABS plastic in this case this uh, Hammond ABS enclosure doesn't have or at least I couldn't find in its data sheet a specification for a fire retardant ABS plastic so this would not exactly be safe to use in the car on the long term where uh, or maybe leave it in the car where temperature during uh, summer uh, might uh, reach the high 40 or 50s uh, I'm talking degrees Celsius so you might want to pick an enclosure that has a uh, plastic rated uh, for higher temperatures and even fire retardant. So I will post the links in the description below for the uh, items used in this build. Maybe this video will get you interested in building something uh, similar so you can use those links to buy the parts and uh, make your own uh, Bluetooth audio receiver. That was all for today. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, project and I will see you next time.